God damn, boys! One thing I absolutely despise and hate is politics, just generally. I think it's a, an idiot's game. No one cares truly what you think. As Arthur Morgan once said, anyone, what did he say? Anyone dumb enough to vote, I say go for it, as you say to that feminist. Ah, a pessimist. I see. It's true. No one cares. If Joe Biden wins this election, it's pure fraud. If Donald Trump wins the election, then it's crazy. You know what I mean? This world is absolutely batshit. I'm an Englishman, and politics is as boring as a grain of rice before it's even been cooked. You know, that shit is just dead in the water bro you got your left who are too left you got the right who are too right i honestly think we should just scrap the whole system but i am not a communist hell no nah, dog instead i'm a memeist <laughs> Jesus is king. MAGA. America first. Missouri's 41st Secretary of State. Bah, 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 bah. Valentina Gomez. A woman with a very nice name, I have to say, when you say it in the accent. She's a she's a nice looking lady. Uh, I f came across her Twitter. I'd just like to show you some. Oh, not that. So this is Valentina Gomez, running in the street with a bulletproof vest on by the looks of it, ready to shoot up the homies. Uh, bra, bra. And that was my uh, gangster accent. I hope you liked it. Just watch this. And it's obviously started on Weak and Gay, which is giving it away slightly for some reason. In America, you can be anything you want. Okay, One more time. In America, you can be anything you want. I agree, you can be anything that you want, including a uh, body that someone can unload a bullet into you, as shown by this. I mean, this woman's holding a very nice looking gun. And in America, you can be anything you want. You can be an absolute povo, or you can be an absolute king. Whatever, what have you, it's amazing. Boom! Got him. That was some good rhyming. But yeah, don't be weak and loose. Be hard and strong. Don't be gay, which is obviously not true. Gay people are just as hard and strong as a normal human, I presume. I don't know. I'm not a gay man. I am no a normal man with normal sized arms and normal sized face and a terrible sized toe. But apart from that, it's all good. But I love this. This is someone that America actually might vote into power. Don't be gay. Stay hard. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what did she say? Anything you want. Don't be weak and gay. <laughs> so you can be gay or weak, but don't be weak and gay. You know what I mean? You gotta be fucking hard, dude. You could be a gay man and still be hard as fuck, bro. But don't be gay and weak. Understand. I will take notes. Thank you. What was the name? Valentina. So I actually think American politics is actually a comedy show at this point. If you've ever seen like a, a soap opera, uh, not soap opera, like a television soap, you know, they're quite cringy, terrible. They have the same intro. They've been going since, you, you, you know, your grandma was a child and she's now dead. You know, they've been around since sliced bread. They don't stop. You guys turn this into some sort of culture like bantered event where you stream it and you watch these guys debate and talk absolute shit who can spew the most shit they should call it because that's all it is this woman is now making use of tiktok x twitter whatever you call it i refuse to call it x because it's a terrible name and she's making you know she's i've never heard of her until now so it's clearly working to sticks and stones may break my bones but words can never hurt me we used to be strong america now there's a bunch of pussies crying in politics and on social media I need the Alliance of America to wake up and help me take this nation back from the weak men and women that have sent our sons and daughters to die in wars that they profit from. I mean, she's spewing facts. America has never been so weak uh, on its toes. I mean, look, correlation, not causation, but Joe Biden, ever since that dickhead came into power, I mean, there's two wars that have started that are absolutely chaotic. You know, death, misery everywhere you go. At least Donald Trump didn't do that. You know, I'm not I'm not a Trumpy and I'm not a Biden-y. I hate politics. I think anyone who gets involved in shit like this, not anyone, because that's wrong, because everyone gets involved with politics. I, I don't believe, but I think you know, people say, oh, you can't comment on it if you don't vote. Bro, if it was Hitler versus Stalin, Stalin, you know, they were your two political parties that you could vote for, and they said, you, you know, who you vote for, would you vote? So if I have idiot A and idiot B, you know what I mean, I'm mucking, bickering around themselves like a, a pair of old ladies fighting over laugh tins and beans on the shelf, do you think I give a shit? Huh? No? No? And yeah, I'm not American, but I think American politics is just the easiest way to do it. No one cares about Rushi Sunak, the dickhead. He's an absolute prick. He's an absolute idiot. He doesn't even know what planet he's on, mate. He's richer than everyone in our country, and he's running the country. Like, pfft. See, exactly bored me already. General Flynn said it best. When there's war, there's a failure in diplomacy. And under President Trump, the world was at peace. And let me tell you something. I really miss those mean tweets right about now. 
it's a valid point. You know, there was a lot more peace, uh, and now obviously there is no peace. I truly believe that the 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 world is heading towards doom. Not to be uh, you know a negative Nancy, but I just I, I I I can't understand where it's heading. You know, we are truly in the shit. Everyone is hiding like a pussy. Uh, there's wars going on in land that we should not give a shit about. No offense, you know what I mean. Everything that goes in the Middle East has been wars there for years. The Americans, the English, the Europeans, we stick our ball sack in it, give it a little twist, give it a stir and just see what happens. See what chaos we can do. Stay clear, homies. Stay the fuck away. They want to kill each other over a religion. Let them fucking do it. We did that 300 years ago. We don't do it anymore. You know, why are they doing it? And then we're like giving them a machine gun. It's like, well, we don't believe in you all, but go on it. Here's a gun, mate. Enjoy it. Yeah, take some pop shots. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. But Valentina Gomez. That was the video. I've spiralled as I always do talking about politics. I hate politics. Oh, we got another video though. Let's see what she has to say. You know what I mean? The reason I hate politics is just because I think everyone's wrong. No one truly gives a shit about you, me, anyone. Anyone. I actually think Donald Trump does care about the American people and I think Joe Biden is just a puppet. Someone has got his hand up that man's bum crack and is moving his mouth and is doing a terrible job because it still seems like he's a, you know, um, a dementia old man. But instead, we don't get it. Last year, I was at Turning Point as an attendee and this year, I look forward to being a speaker and the next Secretary of State for Missouri at the People's Convention in Detroit, Michigan. What's impossible for us, it's possible for God, and I cannot wait to share with all of you what God has done in my life. See, I don't believe you should bring religion into um, politics either. I think that's a terrible. I mean, she met Diana White. You know what I mean? How not being rude? How can you lead a country where I know America is a lot more religious, but in the UK there is, you know, not many Christians left these days. Uh, they're dwindling, fading away. I just don't think you should, you know, force God and Jesus onto other people. But yeah, Valentina Gomez, she's a funny lady. Nice to uh, nice to. Uh, uh, hear from her and make sure that she's uh yeah vote for her or vote for whoever i don't give a fuck just don't vote i say we do this everyone just don't vote that's what we should all do in as a global just don't vote do not vote never vote fuck politicians fuck the government fuck everyone let's live like communists on a pig farm or something just live on our own we don't need these fucking idiots god i hate life but yeah Hey, quick shout out, guys. If you've got nothing better to do with your time, go follow my Twitter. I post great memes that no one likes. <laughs> oh, God, can't wait.